for pre-need funerals, burials, or cremation since 1975. Curtis and Son Funeral Home, two locations to serve you, Sylacauga and Childersburg. Since 1975, Curtis and Son Funeral Home has been serving the needs of uh, Talladega County, uh, especially East Central Alabama and South Talladega County. Curtis and Son Funeral Home for pre-need funerals, burials, or cremation since 1975. Curtis and Son Funeral Home, Sylacauga, Childersburg. Graveside service for Patricia Walker Thomas, age 85, of Sylacauga will be Saturday at 2 p.m. from Evergreen Cemetery with Brother Mike Kaiser officiating. Ms. Thomas died January 20th in Auburn. She was a lifelong member of the Broadway Church of Christ. Online condolences at CurtisAndSonFH.com. Curtis and Son Funeral Home, North Chapel Directing. Sandra Willis died at Coosavala Medical Center last night. Curtis and Son Funeral Home, North Chapel, announcing the arrangements. Ruby Louise Vickers Lambert, age 85, of Sylacauga, died Thursday. A private graveside service will be held. Bradley Smith Funeral Home in Sylacauga in charge of the arrangements. Graveside service for Mrs. Virginia McKinley will be Saturday at 11 a.m. from New Elam uh, No. 1 Baptist Church in Alexander City. Visitation is today, 4 until 6 o'clock at the funeral home. The body will lie in repose 30 minutes before the service at the cemetery. Wright's Funeral Home, Alexander City. Uh, with the arrangements, it'll be live streaming available too uh, at the Facebook page of Wright's Funeral Home. Grayside service for Mrs. Linda Hope Holman, age 73, is Saturday at 1 o'clock from Alexander City Cemetery. Reverend Will Baker officiating. Family receiving friends tonight, 5 until 8 at Radley Funeral Home. Mrs. Holman died Monday, January 18th. Memorial messages can be sent to the family at RadleyFuneralHome.com. Mrs. Holman was a member of the Ellick City Church of Christ, Radley Funeral Home, Alexander City, directing. Celebration of life for Mr. Larry Gene Swain, better known as Speedy, will be uh, is, uh, age 70, is today at noon from Community Funeral Home Chapel in Sylacauga. The Reverend Ronnie Garrett officiating interment in the Alabama National Cemetery in Montevallo. Online condolences at communityfuneralhome.org. Mr. Swain passed away January 13th at his residence, Community Funeral Home, Sylacauga Directing. Funeral service for Mrs. Pamela Dayton Hall, age 53 of Alexander City, will be Monday at 11 a.m. from Children's Chapel at Children's Harbor. The Reverend Chad Middlebrooks officiating burial in the Alabama National Cemetery in Montevallo at 245. The family will receive friends on Sunday from 3 p.m. until 5 p.m. at the funeral home. Ms. Hall died January 19th at Russell Medical Center. And uh, Radley Funeral Home, Alexander City, in charge of the arrangements. Celebration of life and graveside service for Ms. Regina Dale Averett uh, Mancilla, age 54, will be Saturday at 2 p.m. from Friendship Baptist Church Cemetery in Sylacauga. Reverend Theangelo Perkins officiating. The station is today, 1 until 7 o'clock uh, at Community Funeral Home. Ms. Mancilla died January 16th at Grandview Medical Center in Birmingham. Community Funeral Home directing. Mary Jo Dobbs, age 59, of Talladega, died January 19th. And the interment will take place in the Pleasant Grove Baptist Church Cemetery, Talladega Funeral Home, in charge of the arrangements. Funeral service will be today at Talladega Funeral Home, with Dr. Clyde Pettis officiating. That service begins at 2 o'clock, Talladega Funeral Home directing. Glenn Graham Sr., age 83, died January 19th. Funeral service will be 2 o'clock Saturday at Lincoln United Methodist Church with the Reverend Jeff Ponder Twardy officiating. The family receiving friends at Lincoln United Methodist Church beginning at 1 o'clock prior to the service. Mr. Graham was a native of Lincoln, Alabama. I was very active in his church uh, at uh, uh, Lincoln First United Methodist Church, Ursary Funeral Home in Talladega, directing. Uh, Mr. Graham was a uh, veteran of the military, and uh, he was retired as a lieutenant colonel from the United States Army and retired statistics and economics professor at Jacksonville State University. Celebration of life, remembering the life of Mr. Willie James Jordan, age 75 of Talladega, will be Saturday 
at 1 p.m. from S.M. Goodson Funeral Home Chapel with Minister Willie Rice officiating. Public viewing uh, will be Saturday from 10 until 1 p.m. at S.M. Goodson Funeral Home. S.M. Goodson Funeral Home in Talladega directing Celebration of Life, Remembering the Life of Ms. Kathy Louise Kelsey, age 65 of Lincoln, will be held Saturday at 3 o'clock from Pine Grove Baptist Church Cemetery with Bishop James Collins officiating. Public viewing is today uh, from 1 until 6 at the funeral home, S.M. Goodson Funeral Home, Talladega directing. Robert Cole Bob Legan Jr. of Talladega died January 19th. Celebration of Life service will be held at a later date when circumstances allow. In lieu of flowers, the family requests that memorials be given to the St. Peter's Episcopal Church of Talladega. Online condolences at urshreefuneralhome.com. Urshree Funeral Home in Talladega in charge of the arrangements. And uh, these obituaries we already presented. One more here. Uh, Regina Averett, graveside service Saturday at 2 o'clock from Friendship Baptist Church Cemetery. Visitation today, 1 until 7 o'clock at the funeral home, community funeral home in Sylacauga directing. And Mr. James Hamilton died on January 21st at Cusavada Medical Center. Funeral arrangements to be announced as well by community funeral home in Sylacauga. This obituary report this morning brought to you by Curtis and Son Funeral Home, the North Chapel on Highway 21 in Sylacauga, and the Childersburg Chapel on Highway 280 in Childersburg.